Hello, it's Robert Miner with Dynamic Traders Group with a short video for our YouTube subscribers and Twitter followers. We're going to take a look at a couple of popular markets, bring them right up to date, see if there's a particular trade setup that you might want to be thinking about in the days ahead. We're going to take a look at gold. And we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. Um, before we get started, I just want a little bit of announcement I got for you. Last year, I completed a very comprehensive trading course. I called the Dynamic Trading Master Course. I won't go, the de go through the details here with you about it. You can go to our website. I just wanted to alert you that uh, for the next couple of weeks, it's available for half price. It's the first discount offered in 2024, probably be the last one. Don't do it, discount it very often. So we have a new intake for students available just for two weeks at half price. You can go to dynamictraders.com, click on the education tab. There's a short video there that'll um, tell you all about the course um, and you can get complete information about it. So if you're interested to learn the practical aspects of trading from entry to exit, Boy, this is, I think, the only course that's uh, of this comprehensive in nature about the type of trading and analysis that I do very successfully. So uh, go to the website and check it out. And uh, well, that's it. Uh, let's, let's continue on and take a look at the current position of gold. So this is the December gold weekly data. It's just the weekly closes. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about the probable long-term multi-month, multi-year uh, trend position of gold, I've done some videos over the last few months. You can check those out. I'm not going to go over that again. Um, the bottom line and the key takeaway is, is that gold probably has much further to go on the upside before it completes the immediate, or I shouldn't say immediate, but the long-term bull cycle. So any declines, any sideways movement should be some sort of corrections within that bull trend. And that's a, just what it appears to be doing since the May high, is that we'll look from the October uh, 2023 low, because that's what we're concerned with now, is that cycle and pattern up from late 2023. We had an advance, and then a prolonged sideways, we call that a flat correction, more or less, uh, um, that lasted uh, over 16 weeks. And then we had another impulsive advance into the May high. And then we've had another <laughs> period of several weeks, essentially just flat without taking out the May high. So our objective right now is to identify uh, when gold gets in a position to complete this flat correction, because when it's complete, well, what happens following a correction? The market continues the trend prior to the correction to a new extreme. So more than likely, there's a few more weeks to go before this is complete. But then when it's complete, then the trend should continue to a new high. And it's not in a position yet to be complete. Our weekly momentum is bearish from the overbought zone. That implies probably sideways to down for two or three weeks. Uh, we've got a couple of time factors here, late August to early September. And that would be about three weeks, three or four weeks away. That'd be about right given the momentum cycle. Um, but for right now, there's no indication of a breakout. But here's what I can say is that given the time price pattern momentum cycle position of gold is there should be another two to three weeks anyway before this what we call a wave four correction is complete. And that correction should not decline below the June low. Now it may, because the market can do anything, but given there's some other details here, we just don't have time to share, but more than likely this will continue as essentially what we call a flat correction for two or three weeks. More than likely it will remain above the June low. And then when it gets in a position uh, around these time factors in two to three, beginning in two or three weeks, when the weekly momentum cycle gets oversold is then gold will be in a position to complete this correction, and then we can identify some specific go-long trade strategies. So that's what we're looking at for gold over the next few weeks. It can get a little frustrating when you have these prolonged sideways corrections, but the breakout to the upside is very, very probable 
but it's probably a few weeks away. So in our DT reports, this is what we're focusing on each week. And of course, we update those reports three times a week on identifying when gold is in a position to complete this major correction, followed by a continuation of the bull trend to a new high. Just a quick reminder before we continue, check out the Dynamic Trading Master Course. Go to dynamictraders.com, click on the Education tab, and again, there's about a four-minute video there that I produced for you to tell you a little bit more about the course and some of the results I've had from the types of trading uh, strategies that I use. Okay, let's get back. Let's check out Bitcoin. This is a Bitcoin weekly data. And again, in the past, I've done some videos, short videos in Bitcoin, and it's unfolding almost perfectly uh, as expected in, in that off of the March high, this is anticipated to be a correction, and the correction was not likely to be complete uh, until several weeks after that April halving. And when it was complete, then a new bull trend should continue and probably a pretty significant one, given that once Bitcoin tends to break out and get in a trend position is that it can easily have 100 percent, 200 percent gains like it did back off the November low into the uh, pr uh, falling April high. And it did last September's low. You know, there's persistent bull trend, a couple hundred percent into the March high. Well, the update is that more than likely in early July, this ABC flat correction was complete. I should say is complete. And does that mean it's an immediate position to go long? Well, not necessarily. More than likely, Bitcoin is going to be kind of net sideways to down for a couple of weeks. The key here is that more than likely, again, um, any corrective decline will probably not exceed this early July low. This is a, uh, in a position, just an ideal position to have completed an ABC flat correction. Now that doesn't mean, again, that a big bull trend is going to get underway right away but it does mean there's some substantial opportunity to position early on in this trend. Let me just quickly go back to 2023. This is again, it was another uh, flat ABC correction into the September low. What did it have here? About three weeks up, then it was about a week and a half sideways, and then it made its breakout and started that consistent and persistent bull trend. That's typically, how bull trends get underway is they get started, there's some hesitation, some pullback, and then if they resume and take out a significant high, that's kind of a news event, and a lot of buying comes into the market. So right now we've had this initial advance. This past week was really a, a bearish reversal week with the relatively short term eight momentum cycle near the overbought zone that that's what warns that potentially Bitcoin will be sideways to down for a couple of weeks. But because the longer look back momentum cycles are bullish from the oversold zone, it really strongly suggests that any correction will not exceed this July low. So we really want to look for opportunities to position long. So let's do that on the daily data. Here's our daily data right up through Friday, uh, um, August 2nd. And this is what I want you to focus on. This advance off the July 5th low was just a beautiful textbook, Elliott wave, five wave impulse trend. And what's significant about that is it indicates that the higher time frame trend is now bullish. And again, it uh, also suggests that the July 5th low was the end of this prolonged, reasonably flat ABC correction. So what we want to look at is any opportunity on a correction. So even though Bitcoin may be sideways to down for a couple of weeks, once it gets in a typical position to complete a correction, that's a specific um, trade strategy setup. So where are we at as of Friday? Well, a typical retracement to a five wave trend reaches around 50% or so retracement. As of Friday, just a few dollars above that 50% retracement. 
Typically, uh, the time retracement against a five-wave impulse will be around 38 to 62 percent time retracement. Well, that begins on Tuesday. So just a couple more trading days in our bearish daily momentum cycle is just reaching the oversold zone. So that would indicate probably a couple of days sideways to down before that is complete. So boy, what I'm looking at right away is an opportunity for a long position on some kind of bullish reversal. Um, ideally, it would be, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the latter part of next week to complete this correction. And again, it doesn't mean that immediately an impulsive bull trend would continue, but what it would set up for position for Bitcoin to have completed a correction, we can consider a long trade with a stop no further below the July 5th low. Now that could be a ways away. That's the beauty of having ETFs and that you can have ETFs, you can adjust your position size so that your capital exposure is well within the limits of your trading plan and your account size. So once again, you don't want to pass up a trade because you're not buying the bottom tick or selling the top tick. What you want to do, the trade strategy is to identify when a market's in a specific position that has a probable outcome so that then you can develop a specific trade strategy. And boy, I think we're going to have this in Bitcoin in the next few days. Want to keep up to date? Check out DT Reports. We update this three times a week. Well, that's it for today, my friends. Uh, um, let me know if you found this useful and uh, I'll be back with you in a week or two with another video. And once again, if you want to really learn how to trade, how to make trading decisions and manage trades, check out the Dynamic Trading Master Course on our website at dynamictraders.com. That's it for today. Robert Miner, over and out for now.